CEO bashes Trump in Davos, gets wrecked as Trump leans back and utters two words by Robert Rich, Politics U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. Everywhere President Donald Trump goes these days, he's forced to deal with obnoxious liberals begging to be relevant. Take, for instance, the liberal CEO who ambushed the leader of the free world in Davos, Switzerland. Too bad for him. He immediately got wrecked as the uh, president leaned back and uttered two words that were classic Trump. A full year in, uh, and it's uh, starting to look like the left is slowly coming to terms with the fact that Donald Trump is president of the United States and that he's not going anywhere, of course, and that doesn't mean they'll pass up an opportunity to embarrass or humiliate him if they can. Although their whole Russia thing isn't working out, that doesn't mean they won't be on the prowl to find uh, some other fictitious claim in hopes of getting President Trump impeached. In the end, liberals have exposed themselves to be very petty, a reality that doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon. In fact, the CEO of the left-leaning news outlet Business Insider, Henry Blodgett, uh, decided to prove just that by ambushing President Donald Trump, as uh, the Daily Caller reports. For those unaware, the president, along with several other world leader billionaires and chief executives, come together to talk about a variety of economic issues at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Although the idea is to improve the state of the world, as many discussions attempt to achieve this in one way or than another, it seems that one thing at the event is preventing some from working towards that dream. President Donald Trump, in fact, a few idiots wouldn't mind burning down his world and have uh, even already attempted doing so at this point. As previously noted, Business Insider CEO Henry Blodgett was at the event where uh, he approached Trump, likely hoping to get himself a soundbite that would go viral. Too bad for him, things blew up in his face just about as quickly as he issued his gotcha question for the president. Heard screaming above everyone else in the room as Trump walked by, a desperate blodget asked the president, is America great? Rather than go into a long, drawn-out response proving that America is once again on the right track, Trump kept his answer short by saying, America's great but things only got better from there. Hoping to back uh, Trump into a corner, Blodgett came through with a follow-up question asking, is everybody else great? You see, Blodgett wanted one of a few different things to happen. If Trump didn't answer, it would suggest that he only cares about America and they try to paint him as the man who told the rest of the world to piss off. Of course, if the president suggested that other countries weren't as great as America, well, you'd probably have a similar outcome. Even worse yet for Trump, the political ramifications at an international level could be astronomical considering how simple and short the question was, but Trump isn't a fool. For some reasons, uh, reason, uh, idiots like Blodgett uh, haven't figured this out yet, but the CEO uh, would get positively wrecked as Trump leaned back and uttered two words that shut him up for good. Everyone's great, Trump said while raising his hand to project his voice. Is America great? America's great. Is everybody else great? Getting well, just like that, Trump easily sidestepped the mind the liberal CEO put out there in hopes of watching the president blow his own leg off. When it comes down to it, Blodgett's attempt uh, was actually rather genius. By masking what could be the next bombshell story that Trump hates the world in such a simple question that appears harmless, well, you can see why others could have easily taken the bait, but while Blodgett was pretty clever, President Donald Trump outdoes him. 
Trump has been walking circles around the media from day one and continues to do so today. You'd think they'd be tired of embarrassing themselves, but that's clearly not the issue. These attacks will never stop because the reward, at least for them, is too great. Should such an attempt pan out, too bad for them, they better get used to losing because that's all they've been doing these days. And at this point, they're getting pretty good at it. Absolutely. You know, and it, it, you know, it was such a simple question that you probably, you know, is everybody, what is he going to say? Everybody else is great. He's there for America. That's it. But they wanted to catch him on something. He said everybody else is great too. And Trump even actually said it, that each country should be looking out for their own interests. Yes. You know, and then you come to a mutual understanding. What's uh, like, you know, what's the compromises? Uh, it, it's just sickening with the media. I don't even know uh, how he deals with it. He must love this country in order for him to do this because he didn't need to do all of this and be confronted with all of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.